that's doing the thing. Yes. Yes, I got things going on and wood to go through and <coughs> I'm supposed uh, to receive a huge fucking tree here. The guy wants me to make two Bigfoot. The same dude from the mm-hmm. table there? You got yeah, the, the log's big like that. Like 16 feet long. It's huge bundles. Nice. Could have cost hundreds of dollars to get it from the house. Because you have to pick it up with a crane. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to go for 15, 15 wheeler. You have to pay half the road. I don't know how much it's going to be. Maybe hundreds of dollars. Nice. But I can't complain. A few thousand dollars. A few thousand? Yeah. 2,600. 2,600. And I'm not open. There's no art in the front yard. They're knocking at my fucking door and saying, that piece I saw two years ago, is it still for sale? Yeah. <laughs> it's over here now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm closed. My art sign's done. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I notice you're, you're relaxing and you're not too active right now. I'm not active at all. I've and actually had a few people it. come through and ask about you, you know, like they say, oh, they, I was just at Peter's, there was music playing, um, and he wasn't there or whatever, or there was not, not too much in the yard, and... I said, it's all no, in the yard. It's all well, in the backyard now. It's all like he's redid. getting I older. He's, he's relaxing yard. a little bit. He's got more artworks out here in all well, over I'm still in cottages. Art. I made some like yesterday. You know? I, made a, I made a mushroom. A guy offered me four hundred dollars for it, and I said yes. And then he realized that he had to leave the next morning to go to the United States. He doesn't have room for it, but he wanted it real bad. Yeah. Mushrooms one day old. Dude. <laughs> it's in my basement right now, chilling because I don't have a place to put it. Right. Like yeah, out of the sun and it's cool down there. And it's I not got solar crop. lights outside everywhere now. I got click on solar lights. I got three big click on solar lights now. We're underneath the porch, inside my shark head, and inside my, my gazebo. So I got lighting everywhere. I work till 3 o'clock in the morning. I still got lights. You got to see this piece, Peter. I like that piece a lot. Eh? Which one? Yeah, that's a magical piece. I like that. That's magical. You don't mind being filmed for my YouTube channel? As long as nobody cares about the joint. No, no, I roll the biggest joints for miles around. Ah. Uh, garbage and it tastes real bad. In this one. Guys, this guy is a carving legend, Peter Whitlock. Uh, he, he's a he's a local carver out here. He's just he's been he at it for in cedar wood. He's been at it for longer than I've been on this earth, probably. So, anyway, let's go and check out the Thunderbird, Peter. You got a Thunderbird? Yeah, and I didn't even know I was making it. Isn't it always like that? <laughs> it's like I was just you know, and then like uh, I made a bunch of stuff. A guy I came in and like I thought it was a primitive. A guy trying to take flight yeah and then a first nations guy came in here and he's like bro that's a thunderbird so it's a thunderbird wing at the end of the hand isn't it yeah oh but that's a thunderbird hand yeah. it's got the body there well, it's definitely thunderbird it's got the body there Oh yeah, it's definitely Thunderbird like for sure, for sure. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta make him a cedar bird head. You gotta put another one underneath here? There's gonna be another one behind there, you know, bolted in. You can make the feathers longer, you can make them really yeah, long. Yeah, like, well, like it's a possibility. You curve but... it in and then long again. And yeah. you just put a board behind it and continue doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I oh, so how many pieces? One, two, three, four? Is the head coming? Yeah, the head's connected on the main log. It's it's uh, three pieces and then two boards. You know the Haida have a similar thing. Yeah, well the Thunderbird is like... But it's I not mean, a Thunderbird for the Haida. The Haida used to stand these things up and they hang their fish off of them. Oh yeah. And uh, it was supposed to be like, you know, like I was a good fisherman. And, yeah. Basically a, a buddy brought me these boards and I was like, I laid them down. I was like, they make cool wings, you know? And I laid them down and I thought I'm going to make like a primitive guy trying to fly, you know? Sure. 
And then it started looking like Jesus. So I was like, fucking carve the wings. Let's yeah, go. <laughs> and then it started looking like an angel. And I was like, I don't really want it to be an angel. You know, it doesn't, I, look, it doesn't look angel. So I wanted to make him look primitive. And I was going to like, I'm going to put jewelry on him and stuff and like leather and like make him look like a, you know, very primitive guy. So he'll have like leather and stuff on there. Pine but, is all uh, pine. Yeah, he's all pine. I like him. Yeah, thank you. He's going to be big and heavy and awkward. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out a way to keep him in the storms from falling down. Well, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be a cement slab on the bottom. It's going to be bolted into that. And there's going to be a pole behind him with some metal to bolt into the wings to support all that. Do you, do you want to drill in holes through the arm? How are you going to bolt the arms? The on? arms are going to be, I'm having plates no, welded. I'm getting plates welded. They're going to slide in like that and then get bolted from the back. Okay. So you're gonna hang it on itself? Yeah. 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 That was my, my sort of idea there. Okay. You, can, you can do that. You can I got pipes at home. You can just drill a hole, put the pipe in, plug it in. I thought about that, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a little dog there. Okay, so but yeah, I'm I'm I, after talking to a few people, I think it's Ashley. Ashley's here. After talking to a few people, uh, I uh, I want to propose to like do this as a public artwork, but have it bronzed. Have the pieces uh, bronzed and uh, and uh, have all the chainsaw marks come back in the in the design, and it'll like just be like an amazing work that will be like uh, resilient to the elements. I, yeah, it's a work in progress. I've already had an offer on this. I turned down five grand for this fucking thing. Okay, and uh, th they agreed that it was worth at least 25, the, the people that, that made the offer. But I, I think it's worth more. It's worth more in the sense that it needs to be in a public place. It needs to be like seen. They were going to put it in a field and stuff, which is cool. But I mean, this is a really important... Hey, if you're going to pay, you put it in the field?